All right, it's day 16 post-op. Woke up with some puffiness today in my eyes, but not as bad as the previous days. So that's a good sign there. The agenda on today is to get my faha adjusted at the seamstress. Hopefully that can happen. I looked up stores that sell fajas in Puerto Rico. There's one maybe like 20-ish minutes away, but I don't know if they're gonna have what I'm looking for. Their inventory through their Google images looked a little bit on the low side. So I'm slightly concerned about that, but I might just stop by anyways because I'm gonna take them my 2XL, but I don't know if I should really be wearing this large all that often. I worked to bed last night, but I think it like pinches potentially my butt a little bit too much. I don't know though. It's hard to tell. It's kind of like, I was always thinking the Faja is supposed to be super uncomfortable and it's just never been that uncomfortable. So it's hard for me to like gauge, like, is this the right size? Should I get a different size? So that's been a little bit of a challenge there. Woke up, got my coffee going and um, definitely not hungry yet. Not this early. So after this two cars that I tried to take over here to the seamstress, the third car finally started. I think I've just been gone for a couple of weeks and the batteries need to get jumped. So uh, yeah, on my way to the seamstress now and then I might call that Baja place and check out to see what sizes they have available. I had this weird feeling the seamstress is going to tell me that the Faja fits fine, this 2XL, but that back piece keeps sliding down that I'm supposed to be wearing. So hopefully she's willing to fix it. I don't know, it's weird. Like <clears throat> this 2XL feels snug, the large feels snug, but they both fit. It's just kind of weird. I think I understood that she will not fix the Faja because it's spandex and it doesn't deal with that kind of material, but I don't know, that was my best guess. I tried to use my translator, but that was a fail. I don't know any other seamstresses around, so I'll have to find one now. Okay, so I just placed an order on Amazon for a Faja, a different one, the ones that are shorter and where you could actually take the straps off. And I got that one in a large specifically so I can like go out and do things because the one that I currently have has this like really thick strap and it's just so hot in Puerto Rico that I always wear tank tops or like dresses. So with this particular Faja, I think I could be able to like wear some pretty normal clothes. Don't have to wear like t-shirts and like workout pants all the time. I'm wearing literally the same workout pants for like 16 days straight now, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, repeating my clothes over and over and over again but uh i feel like i'm gonna have a hard time finding a seamstress so i'm just like you know what just order it i mean it's not gonna get here for like over a week which sucks because there is no such thing as amazon prime in puerto rico it takes way longer than one or two days Bien. Go. Bien. Sí. All right, so I just dropped off the Faja. It's so weird wearing regular clothes, or just wearing clothes without the Faja on. Like, I don't know, this, this shirt's like super baggy, but just my body is so different. It's honestly insane. So she's gonna have my Faja adjusted by tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, gonna be pretty quick. I might still go check out. Um, it's just, I can't wait for this part to go down. It's just a little bit out there. I just can't wait. Um, I think I'm still gonna go to that Faja store and see what they have available because the other one that I just ordered won't come in for a while. And like, I wanna go out this weekend and I really don't know what the heck I'm gonna wear with like the Faja with the thick straps, even if I wear my large one, which is more tight fitting. And I probably won't wear the boards and the foam in there if I just go like out for the day, just cause it's just too bulky and don't feel my best self. So next what I'm gonna do is, I have all this clothes that I was going to return cause there's not all the fitting rooms are open here. So this didn't really fit me that well when I tried it on last, but I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again and it might fit me better this time before I want to take it back. So let's see. This is just like a super casual dress that I bought that I'm like, it doesn't fit me that great now, but I think after my BBL it will. And it definitely fits better. Like I could potentially wear this out today. See before my BBL, it was this part that bothered me a lot. This like 
roll that was forming near this area and I'm still really small in there which is like a total bummer it'll eventually go away but um I mean it's even though it's still swollen it's actually better than what it was so that part is pretty exciting one of the most exciting things after your BBL is just trying on all your old clothes and seeing how much better it fits you know just like the snatchness taking place here, I'm just not so square anymore. Like, gosh, I just like my figure so much more. This is awesome. Yeah, this dress fits like way, way, way better. And it's just a simple casual dress to throw on. Something easy to work with. It actually fit pretty good before, but um, I, it was, I just knew that I was probably never gonna wear it. Like, and I didn't know how it was gonna look with my BBL bod, so let's, see how this dress fits much better much 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 better yeah wow the back side is just insane oh i'm not so square anymore yeah i think i'm gonna keep this one i think with black heels it'll be perfect yep I have a particular fancy bar that I like to go to, and I will definitely wear this there. I mean, I would even be willing to wear this in my current state. The band-aids don't look that great, though. <laughs> Dang, just so happy with this new bod. Love this slit on this dress. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Dang, I just, from behind is like the craziest. The craziest. All right, well, got a bunch of deodorant all over this, but this one's a keeper. So this dress is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I think the back looks good. Dang, my backside just looks so much better. Um, side profile's okay. I feel like from the front, it makes me look a little frumpy, actually. It's a little bit loose. Hmm. I wonder if I should trade it for a smaller size. I'm really torn on this one, actually. But I think it's important to check with the shoes. I would always resort to dresses like this that were just like flowy. And like, you can't really tell that my body's changed in something like this. I actually didn't really like this dress before anyway, so this is going back to. If you don't love it, don't keep it. All right, I'm about to go tan. It's just like, there's just not nearly as much fat to grab here like there used to be, and it's insane. It's just insane. I mean, when I bend over, of course, but God, this looked so different before. Exciting. Very, very, very exciting. I'm gonna go tan. My band-aids are gonna cause, cause the worst tan lines. Kind of breaking the rules, you're not supposed to be out of your faha for more than 30 minutes, but anytime I take a shower and have to wash my faha, I'm definitely out of, out of it for more than 30 minutes. Anytime I get an hour long massage, I'm out of it for 30 minutes. So I think vitamin D is important, except I can't really tan my stomach, so I gotta lay on my back. And then I might stand up a little bit. It's honestly crazy. Uh, there's The tide is super high and like it's taken out palm trees, it's taken out so much of the beach. It's crazy how much of the beach has actually disappeared. All right, so I had to walk a little bit further because the beaches are disappearing, but uh, it feels so weird. I haven't walked this much without the faha on. And it actually feels like I still have it on in my torso area. So I'm just like from walking, I'm realizing just how weird my torso and like back is of where all of the lipo was done. And so 
know, it's so weird to describe because like I can feel it, but I can't at the same time. Also, I feel like when I lay on my stomach, like my ribs before had so much fat on top of them. But now like I feel my ribs when I lay on my stomach. Um, it was really quite awkward to stand up to tan my front side, but I didn't bring like my pillow or anything to lay down on. So that was kind of the situation there. But um, it actually feels like my skin is like sucking in. I don't know, it's a weird feeling walking around without the faha on. Very, very strange. All right, uh, I waited one full hour for the massage therapist to arrive. I text her, I'm here. And there was another lady there that I thought was her, but then I realized after 40 minutes that it wasn't her. And the lady texted me, was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to put it down, I'm on my way. So I started my period yesterday, but it was super, super light. I thought maybe it was a pendulum I was gonna skip a period because of the surgery, the trauma to my body, my tra like all the traveling, et cetera, et cetera. But no, I'm feeling the hardcore period cramps today, so I have to go home and take something to fight these things off because I hate it. I get all hot and sweaty and I have to go to the bathroom and my entire legs cramp. So I'm gonna go take care of that right now. It's like uh, 4.45, but um, I could not find any ibuprofen or painkillers. So one of the painkillers I had left over for my procedure, I cut that in half and it's already working when it comes to my stomach cramps from starting my period and all the cramps that I get, like my entire legs start cramping up. It's like from my hips down to my ankles, my legs just feel terrible. So my body is asking for a nap and I like to eat intuitively. I like to sleep intuitively. I like to exercise intuitively. I just try to listen to my body and what it wants, I try to give it that. So I just uh, ate a little bit. So for breakfast, I had some pork belly. That was like the fattiest thing in my fridge and I really haven't been keeping up with fatty food. So had some of that. And then for lunch, I had some sauteed bell peppers with, um, then I also had some almonds and cheese and then these like little coconut cluster things. Um, overall, pretty small meal, but I'm feeling crazy bloated from starting my period. Like, ooh, it does not feel good.